A much needed facelift is on the way for the Yakima Greenway. We'll give you the details coming up. And an event at Pasco High School highlighted the best ways to keep your kids safe by keeping an eye out for red flags that may be hidden in plain sight. And after some sun breaks yesterday, will it happen again for your Thursday? I'll get you prepared my first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to Thursday, getting close to that weekend. Good morning. Good morning, Jason. Saw a little bit of sun yesterday breaking through. Did we? Some of our, yes. I don't think I looked Where outside. Where were you? I don't think I looked outside much <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> so in, uh, we saw pretty much in the afternoon, uh, we saw some sun break. So at least a little bit of sunshine to brighten our days with all this fog and cloud coverage. We do did have a little bit of rain snow mix falling in some of our areas very briefly, but we also have fog in places. Let's take a look outside and looking very nice for the Tri-Cities yet again. Light winds. We are right around that freezing mark this morning, so a little cooler than it has been. We do have some heavy fog yet again in Pendleton. Walla Walla was at about two miles of visibility just an hour ago, so improving there. But as we do know, things get a little worse during our warning hours before they get better. So 0% visibility there, 80% in Yakima. Besides that, looking much better, much clearer throughout our areas. So for our areas today, we are in, yes, the lower 40s to upper 30s. A little bit of sunshine possible, uh, probably likely for Yakima as we get into our afternoon. Probably see some sun breaks as well for the Tri-Cities. A touch warmer in the lower 40s today. And for Walla Walla, more fog expected. Highs in the upper 30s. Maybe a sun break in our afternoon. Even better chance for some sunshine tomorrow. And again, we've had a little bit of rain snowfall mix uh, fall in the Yakima Valley area. So more sun breaks possible. Blues fog staying average. I'll get you your first alert weather forecast coming up in about 10 minutes. A 20-mile paved trail stretching from Natchez to Union Gap, the Yakima Greenway is a popular destination for hikers, bicyclists, uh, skaters, and walkers. But new funding is slated to up the appeal of certain parts of the Greenway. The Yakima Greenway is starting a six dollars to $7,000 project to renovate the parking lot off of 16th Avenue, a popular spot for fishers and families. There's pedestrian access off of 16th and it marks the halfway point on the trail. But it also has a dumpster, pit toilet, cracked pavement and river trails that aren't official or accessible for everyone. The new renovation project funded through grants and donations will change that. So that the community understands where they can access the trail and, and the kind of activities that they can have um, in this area good signage, good lighting, always will bring that positive activity right back um, into this area. Later on Good Morning Northwest, we'll learn more about the project and get a sneak peek at what it might look like when it's done. Parking enforcement continues to be a sticking point for local businesses in downtown Yakima. Now the Yakima City Council is making yet another change. The council paused parking enforcement during the pandemic, then ramped it up earlier this year. But after, five, after a 500 signature petition, along with complaints from downtown businesses, the council voted to put a 60-day moratorium on parking enforcement in the downtown area. I do think, um, you know, we would be not listening to our community if we would not address this issue going into the holiday season where small businesses are impacted anyways because of the economy. According to Yakima, police enforcement in that area was, a, uh, was immediately stopped and the department will be sharing more about how this affects downtown parking in the next few days. Would you be able to spot signs of drug or alcohol use, underage vaping, mental health concerns, or unhealthy relationships just by looking at a, around a teen's bedroom? Well, the Hidden in Plain Sight event at Pasco High School showcased some of the red flags that adults need to be aware of. It's a mock-up of a teen bedroom with dozens of potential red flags that are hidden in plain sight. According to Dr. Jacob Campbell, a social worker with Pasco High School's Bridges program, while the program is geared towards adults or, or towards parents, it's good information for anybody to have. 
there are going to be more than 70 indicators related to substance abuse, mental health, uh, human trafficking, relationship problems that are going to be around that room. And really like the purpose is to come and to be able to provide parents with the opportunity to have a conversation and understand what is kind of going on for some of their, their students and to be able to see the trends. And if you weren't able to make it out to Pasco High, Hidden in Plain Sight will be at Chiawana in the spring. Apple Valley News Now also spoke with Dr. Campbell about what actions you should take if one of those red flags is spotted in your kid's room, or even if you feel like something isn't quite right. To me, the most important thing that parents can do is have conversations with their kids, talk about their own values at home, like what, what their values are, especially related to drugs and alcohol. I think that uh, being able to, uh, they can come and get support from either places in the community, uh, school officials as well, uh, but uh, talking to their children is the number one thing that we can come and be able to do. Campbell also says don't wait until you have teenagers, but start those conversations early so by the time your kids are faced with potentially dangerous online situations, they know they can come to you for help. Some of these resources are available on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Hope Heals, a nonprofit created to provide homeless individuals with basic necessities and care packages, it's, is celebrating its 10th anniversary. Owner Annette Bovent created the nonprofit after a zero interest home loan ended her homelessness 15 years ago. After going through that, Annette said her son brought her a care package and it all came to fruition. So when I got my house, 15 years ago, my oldest son went shopping and when he came home, he gave me a care package. He gave me things that I needed like laundry soap and dish soap and Comet and just a mop and a broom, things that I needed to start a home. So my son planted that seed. And 5% of wall-to-wall -wall furniture and mattresses October sales were donated to, donated to Annette and Hope Heals, totaling $5,500 going directly back into the community. We'll return in just a moment, but first Jason Valentine joins us live now for another quick look at the weather. We've hit, made it to Thursday, everyone, and we have a little bit of rain snow mix coming through some of our areas. Also have foggy conditions and others. I'll get you ready for your Thursday. And my first alert weather forecast coming right up. And it was a time to celebrate at a Benton County District courtroom yesterday as the Therapeutic Mental Health Court celebrated two more graduates. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side and, and confidence in your real estate journey. The holidays are here and Honey Baked Ham has exactly what your holiday gathering needs. Whole turkeys fully cooked and perfectly seasoned, just heat and serve. Turkey breasts, deliciously smoked or oven roasted. Or our famous slow cook spiral cut hams, hand glazed and caramelized to perfection. Complete your feast with one of our incredible sides and delicious desserts. So many choices. Honey Baked Ham on Columbia Center Boulevard in the Planet Fitness Shopping Center. Or call 509-579-5855. Put Honey Baked Ham on your table this year. I left home at 14 and I had my first child at 17. I was an addict, so, and that destroys your whole world. I actually just kind of walked into Goodwill and they trained me. Yeah, Goodwill doesn't look at you as a person with barriers. I love my job. Goodwill's more than just a thrift store. But I have a future and so does my community because of the programs Goodwill offers. I kind of look in the mirror and I'm happy with who I see every day. Shop Goodwill, changing lives through the power of work. It's the most festive night of the year. CMA Country Christmas. Christmas means to me my love. The biggest stars perform your favorite Christmas songs. Happy Holidays. CMA Country Christmas, tonight on ABC. One good round deserves another at Zentel Creek Golf Club in Kennewick. Stay warm inside with state-of-the-art golf simulators or book banquet space for your next family or professional event. Weekends liven up with select live music events throughout the season. Go to ZentelCreek.com to find the list of live music options. And make reservations for golf, dinner, drinks, and fun all year round. Home design and remodeling can be overwhelming. 
At Premier Woodworks, we are with you throughout the entire project. Our in-house designers and project manager will help you design the space of your dreams. Whatever the size of project, Premier Woodworks will help maximize your space and turn your vision into reality. Visit our website, premierwoodworksllc.com, or stop by our newly remodeled showroom at 109 North Washington in downtown Kennewick. At U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone. She's here! Then, give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back, everyone, on this Thursday morning. Well, walking into a courthouse is, well, not always a happy occasion, but one district courtroom was all smiles and clapping as the Therapeutic Mental Health Court of Benton and Franklin County celebrated two graduates yesterday morning. Logan Sandoval and Josh Miller finished the Intensive Mental Health Court program. Benton County's Therapeutic Courts are programs for people who, who committed crimes that require assistance and resources rather than jail time. Judge James Bell opened up the floor for one of the graduates to share his advice. I'd like you to take like four seconds, because I know you don't like to talk a lot. Uh, you don't. You're a man of few words. But maybe just, we got a lot of people here uh, starting the program out. What can they do? What's some, some advice you would give them as they're starting this program? Uh, I would say uh, be motivated and uh, uh, stay alive. <laughs> Graduates Logan and Josh now get to continue on in life at every therapeutic court graduation. There's always a ceremonial shredding of the charges. Both graduates walked out of the room without a criminal history and congrats to the two of them. Well, the CDC deems it an urgent global public health threat. Antimicrobial resistance can make treating infections hard, sometimes even impossible. Anytime we use antibiotics, it can lead to antimicrobial uh, microbial, excuse me, resistance, meaning germs develop the ability to resist or defeat the drugs designed to kill them. This is why we should only use antibiotics when they are necessary. If we don't, these life-saving medicines may not work for future generations. Over 2.8 million antimicrobial resistant infections happen each year, resulting in over 35,000 deaths. According to the CDC's 2019 Antibiotic Resistant Threat Report, in order to prevent that, take antibiotics as prescribed and don't share or store them. In fact, you should safely dispose of any extra medication. Coming up, a rash of the uh, vehicle thefts on the west side has caused the Seattle City Council to demand the government call for federal recall of certain models. And I'll return with your first alert weather forecast. That's next. Let me get you ready on your Thursday on Good Morning Northwest. This may look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Good thing my Rogue has intelligent all-wheel drive. So does my Altima. Now, get 2.9% APR financing for 60 months or save up to $3,000 on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Better hurry. These offers won't be back in stock. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months, plus save up to $800. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Is your home in need of a remodel? Then transform your living space with help from Costless Carpet. Have you heard about Costless Carpet's new Rhino SPC? 
It's changing the flooring industry. Durable, waterproof, with amazing looks that are blowing our customers away. Rhino SPC has 20 and 30 mil wear layers, making it more durable and easy to install. Costless carpet stocks over 25 different visuals and has wide plank woods and 12 by 24 tile designs too. To find your nearest store, visit costlesscarpet.com. My darling granddaughter, this camera was given to me when I was your age. May it capture your big, beautiful life the way it did mine. It's so surprising what the little things can do. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody Oh, Merry Christmas, Grandma. <laughs> At Mattress Depot USA, we believe everyone is entitled to a good night's sleep, regardless of their credit situation. That's why we're approving everyone for up to $1,200 towards the purchase of a new mattress with no credit needed. You spend a third of your life in bed, and a comfortable mattress is essential for providing quality of life. $3,000 credit, 100 days, same as cash with no credit needed. Only at Mattress Depot USA. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Jason Valentine. Good Thursday morning, everyone. We're getting close to that weekend. Another calm morning throughout most of our areas. Uh, looking pretty nice out there, but we did have just a hint of just little bits of rain snow mix coming through the Yakima Valley area. It is slowly moving along and we can see just a hint of precipitation this morning. We do have quite a bit of precipitation going on in the Puget Sound area that is going to translate to some snow into the mountainous areas. Our areas, though, are going to dodge most of those showers as they're going to quickly move along. And again, could persist into our late afternoon or late morning hours and then we'll be looking at hopefully a little bit of sun breaks like yesterday but a little bit more clearing as we get into our Friday and into our Saturday just it all depends on how much that fog holds on and how much sun we're going to be seeing speaking of fog we have zero percent visibility yet again that is a quarter of a mile of visibility for Pendleton 80 percent visibility in Yakima so improved for most of our areas, save for Pendleton. So give yourself some extra time. Air quality, starting to see a little bit of moderate air quality uh, in our vicinity, but not in our areas just yet. So keeping a close eye on that as winds are going to continue to be very light for the week ahead, if not even further. Uh, light winds this morning, and as we look at our wind outlook, it's going to continue to be light well into our next work week. Hopefully a little bit of a variance as we could maybe get a little bit of fresh air into our regions, but still looking pretty paltry when it comes to wind action. So temperatures right now, we are below the freezing mark for Walla Walla. We're much closer to the freezing mark for the rest of our areas, though, just a little bit above that. And uh, we're going to continue to see cool temperatures in our morning hours. Our daytime highs are going to be right around or just below our average for this time of year well into next week and of course a week from today is the winter solstice my goodness we're going to finally hit winter uh, next week at this time so yes a week away for the winter solstice 11 days left so riley that's 10 shopping days right for christmas uh, and 18 days left until 2024 as we're starting to wind up our year. Here's our highs today, lower 40s, uh, pretty much across the board. And uh, again, we're maybe a touch cooler or a touch warmer for your areas, but still staying right in those lower 40s. And for Yakima, you're staying in those lower 40s to upper 30s for the week ahead. We are looking to stay dry, mostly dry till our next work week, besides that little bit of rain snow mix rolling through. And then it, if we see that uh, second push, it'll be a little bit of rain, but very quickly through our areas. 
Overnight lows still hovering around that freezing mark. Tri-Cities area, lower 40s, upper 30s for the week ahead. Uh, fog is expected to be in and out, especially as we get to Saturday. Overnight lows right around that freezing mark. And in Walla Walla, could see some shower act activity next week. That would actually break things up a bit, but quite a bit of fog is expected for the Blue Mountain region for the next couple of days. So for right now, we're seeing heavy fog in Pendleton. Other than that, looking pretty good throughout our areas, though fog could reappear in the Walla Walla region. But do get ready for highs in the lower 40s today, and hopefully a little bit of sun breaks as we get to our afternoon and keep it out for a quick shower or two in our morning hours. Well, you've heard us talk about recent thefts of Kia and Hyundai models of uh, vehicles before. Now a resolution has been passed by the Seattle City Council calling for a federal recall of some vehicle models. According to one city council member, this is needed since the car companies haven't done enough on their own to prevent vehicle theft. These particular makes and models that don't have the uh, theft, uh, the anti-theft devices are typically the low end models, which means that it's most likely people of limited means who are having their vehicles stolen. They're also having a hard time getting access to car insurance because insurers don't want to uh, insure folks. A similar move has been made in Baltimore, Maryland, where car thefts have surged 220 percent, with half being Kias and Hyundais. In a statement to the ABC News affiliate in Seattle, Kia says it has complied fully with requirements and the lawsuits and resolutions are, quote, without merit. Hyundai suggests the, only, the problems are only with models not equipped with push-button ignitions and engine immobilizers. The company says, quote, dealers are maximizing the number of anti-theft software installations that can be performed on a daily basis, which we report to the NHTSA weekly, end quote. According to Washington State Patrol, the Thurston County coroner identified the student found dead at an Evergreen State College campus as 21-year-old Jonathan Rodriguez of Dew Point, Washington. Rodriguez was found dead inside his apartment Monday night, while two other students were rushed to the hospital with symptoms consistent with carbon monoxide poisoning. The officer who performed CPR on the deceased student also had to go to the hospital. Investigators are working with a contractor to look into the carbon monoxide alarm that went off earlier in the day. Rodriguez's official cause of death is still unknown. And that's scary because I'm wondering, well, are, are the monoxide alarms working in the dorms? Like, what if something like that happens? WSP says the contractor specializes in carbon monoxide investigations. Evergreen State College says it's fully cooperating in the investigation. Encouraging news about an invasive pest that has turn up, turned up in Washington State in the past few years. Northern Giant Hornet, nicknamed the Murder Hornet, was seen in northwestern Washington's Whatcom County in 2019. More were seen in 2020, but according to WSU, state beekeepers have not found new detections of the insect for the second year in a row. Officials say one more year without any sightings means the northern giant hornet will be considered eradicated from Washington state. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, being lost at sea can be a terrifying experience with no certainty that you'll ever be rescued, but a passing cruise ship proved to be the saviors of the crew of a capsized cargo ship. Okay, where will both George Clooney and Jason Momoa be this morning? Good morning, America. <laughs> Wake up with George in an all-new interview and Jason live on GMA. This morning on Tell Him, Jason. Good morning, America! A little over 10 years ago, my family and I decided to get involved with the Ark of Tri-Cities to work with the kids to have a good time. We would dance, uh, we would do crafts. But what I didn't know getting involved is uh, how much it would impact me and, and our family's lives. We're blessed to live here and to work with local nonprofits, so it's really important to support those in need. I'm John Inman, and I'm driving change at McCurley. Find your way home in a new, used, or certified pre-owned vehicle from McCurley Chevrolet. Watch me. Watch me tumble, jump, and soar. When our squad is on point, we own the floor. Dazzling stunts and dances are my jam. Pain once caused issues, but they had a plan. A life-changing race with no surgery to fear. Activity without limits, one more reason to cheer. 
Watch me. Industry-leading scoliosis treatment at Shriners Children's. The most amazing care anywhere. Enjoy nature with McBee Mountain being a short hike away and return to Anna Lari, where every sip of wine showcases Washington's beautiful terroir. Try one of Anna Lari's house-made pizzas where creativity and unique flavors change seasonally to pair with their delicious full-bodied wines. Take in the views of Red Mountain and experience the true meaning of farm to table showcasing the fruit of the land and their efforts. Make your reservation to visit Anna Lari Winery today. At U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone. She's here! Then, give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team a successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, find and confidence in your real estate journey. Happy Hanukkah from Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back. Six people stranded in the ocean near the Dominican Republic were rescued early Wednesday thanks to a nearby cruise ship. In this video, captured by a cruise ship passenger, you can see a spotlight shining on the small orange emergency life raft carrying the stranded cargo ship crew members. It all happened after the captain of Carnival's Vista received an emergency alert about a small cargo vessel that had capsized. Carnival says the captain immediately altered the ship's course. And the ship's officers then spotted six men on a life raft, stopped to rescue them and bring them on board. The Coast Guard confirmed that it rescued six additional crew members from the waters. The cruise ship was able to continue its journey after being cleared by the Coast Guard. Oh my goodness, if you're going to get rescued by anybody, a cruise ship a would cruise be the ship best is place. A cruise ship is a nice, it's a nice <laughs> ride to <laughs> hitch along with. So a little extra adventure for those uh, passengers. Definitely. Oh, very cool. Quick look outside, I'm going to get you ready for your Thursday and my first alert weather forecast that's coming up. And coming up on Good Morning Northwest, the GOP-led House has authorized an impeachment inquiry into President Biden, despite lingering concerns among some Congress members that the investigation has not produced any evidence of misconduct by the president. Meanwhile, the Biden administration staffers held a vigil in front of the White House last night calling on Biden to support a ceasefire in Gaza. In today's Tech Bytes, Apple is now selling the case for its latest AirPod Pros separately. It's for anyone who wants to make the switch to the USB-C case without purchasing a whole new set of second-generation AirPod Pros. The case by itself is going for $99. Amazon has added a feature to help you look through your entire online library. The new Your Books Hub puts all of your digital, physical, and audio books into one searchable area. The feature will also provide recommendations for new items based on past purchases. Finally, owners of a Meta Quest 2, 3, or Pro headset can stream games through Xbox Cloud Gaming. Players will also need a controller, a good internet connection, and the most recent Quest software, and an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate membership. You know, I had to stop playing a VR bicycle game recently. Turns out it was too realistic. Those are your tech bites. Have a great day. You really think you can get me to like dark chocolate? Without a doubt. Won't it taste bitter? Not this dark chocolate. Now what? We wait. I can't. Mm. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. 
I told you it wasn't bitter. <laughs> From the Lint Master Chocolatier, Discover Excellence. Expect delicious. Ooh, stuffed up again? So congested. You need Sinex Saline from Vicks. Just Sinex, breathe. <sighs> what is, wow. Sinex, breathe. Ah. <sighs> Nature's bounty hair growth. Help grow thicker, fuller hair with just one capsule a day of advanced hair complex. Conquer hair thinning. And fall in love with your hair all over again. Only from Nature's Bounty. The House of Representatives is moving forward with its impeachment inquiry into President Biden, with every Republican representative voting in favor of the motion. And the U.S. National Security Advisor is set to meet with Israeli officials this week as dozens of political employees and presidential staffers held a vigil calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. And after some sun breaks yesterday, will it happen again for your Thursday? I'll get you prepared my first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to your Thursday. We're getting close to the weekend. Yes. Maybe the final weekend of shopping. <laughs> final weekend of, of uh, school. Final week of school before yes. winter break. Yes, and for many people. Yeah, lots of fun, exciting things. <laughs> That's very exciting. And then uh, game show ratings go up after the kids are home. Oh, really? Well, you know, yeah. a lot of sitting around. <laughs> let's take a look outside and let's get you ready for your Thursday. And we do have nice conditions throughout most of our areas. Good visibility through most of our areas as well. But we do have zero visibility in Pendleton going on again. Quarter of a mile visibility there. 80% visibility in Yakima. Other than that, looking very good, including Walla Walla, which was seeing some sketchy uh, visibility just uh, about an hour ago. We do have a little bit of rain snow mix moving through our areas right now, but we do expect to see that uh, start uh, end very quickly as we get to our morning hours, especially by the time we get to our early afternoon. So our highs today, we're in the pretty much the lower 40s across the board. Maybe some sun breaks in our afternoon hours, just like we saw yesterday. Um, very nice to see a little bit of sunshine. For Walla Walla, we do expect the fog to return and then release its grip and maybe a bit of sun as at the end of the day. But as we're looking at our next couple of days, we have more fog expected. Highs still lower 40s, upper 30s. Not much change there. So hopefully some sunshine today. Blues seeing some fog, staying average on our temperatures. I'll get you updated on that and a sneak peek at your weekend. My first alert weather forecast coming up in about 10 minutes. Turning to Capitol Hill, where House Republicans have voted to authorize an impeachment inquiry into President Biden. Republicans argue it will further their investigation, which has yet to uncover any evidence of presidential wrongdoing. The vote coming hours after Biden's son, Hunter Biden, defended his father and himself from Republican attacks outside the U.S. Capitol. More from ABC's Justin Finch. House the impeachment inquiry into On President VCA's Biden passing in a party line the House vote. The nays are 221 and the nays are 212. Every House Republican supporting the resolution, which House leaders House say House will allow House more access to critical documents. We've spent months in this investigation accumulating evidence. The House Democrat leader blaming Biden's 2020 presidential rival. Donald Trump, the puppet master, has directed extreme MAGA Republicans to launch a political hit job against President Joe Biden. In their year-long Biden family probe, Republicans have tried to link the president to his son's business dealings, but have yet to uncover any hard proof of presidential misconduct. The younger Biden now facing indictment for failing to pay taxes he's now repaid defending his father. There is no evidence to support the allegations that my father was financially involved in my business because it did not happen. Hunter Biden also refusing closed door testimony, but offering to testify publicly. Where's Hunter? Well, here's my answer. I am here. House Judiciary Chair Jim Jordan saying the younger Biden will likely be held in contempt. Look, when Congress asked you to come, you're supposed to come and, uh, and come and testify. Though Jordan refused to comply with a House subpoena from the January 6th committee, the president and House Democrats slamming the impeachment inquiry as a baseless political stunt. 
I think that the public uh, understands that this is a, a ridiculous fishing expedition. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan is meeting with Israeli officials this week, including Prime Min Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Israeli President Isaac Herzog. The White House says Sullivan will stress to Israel that it needs to be, quote, uh, more, quote, surgical and reduce civilian harm with its military campaign against Hamas. Meanwhile, calls for an end to the war are increasing in the U.S. Dozens of political appointees and members of the Biden administration stood outside the White House Wednesday night, calling for the war between Israel and Hamas to end. Among those taking part in the vigil was Josh Paul, a former State Department official who resigned in October due to his disagreement with how the administration has approached the war. I think there's just a blindness to the suffering that the Palestinian people are experiencing on a daily basis. Thanks to the bombardment that we are facilitating, the bombs that we are providing, uh, you know, behind us a list of names is being read of people who have died from babies to old people. Um, these are people who have died at the hands of American arms, uh, arms being provided by the people who stand in the building behind us. Uh, I think that's something that we should all be deeply concerned about. The ceasefire message was also made earlier Wednesday by protesters who disrupted traffic for miles on the 110 freeway in downtown Los Angeles. The White House has supported humanitarian pauses in Gaza, but not a ceasefire. Jason Valentine is here with a look at your weather forecast. It is Thursday morning, everyone. We have fog in some places, a little bit of rain snow mix in others. Let me get you ready for your Thursday morning and my first alert weather forecast coming right up. And before this year ends, we'll give you five money moves that could help you set you up for financial success in 2024. It's the holiday sale at Furniture Row, so there's no better time to shop the largest selection of sofas, tables, beds, and accessories. And best of all, everything is on sale. Plus, five years, no interest financing. The holiday sale, only at Furniture Row. The buying season never ends at Broadmoor RV Superstore. Make this holiday one to remember with a new motorhome, travel trailer, or fifth wheel. Broadmoor RV continues to close out the 2023s to make room for the 24s. Your destination store in Pasco has the top brands in the industry, including Jayco, Montana Fifth Wheels, Coachman, Northwood, and Outdoors RV. Visit our huge campus and let us help you make memories for a lifetime this holiday season. Broadmoor RV Superstore, family owned and operated in Pasco. News now. This is Apple Valley Eats. All right, so my job here is the food and beverage executive chef. I've been here 10 years. Started off here as an entry level cook. Um, I was given the opportunity to step into the executive chef role, which is the position that I'm in. I've been in that position for about six years now almost. Uh, what I do here, I handle not so much the day to day operations, but everything that goes into the menu planning, the SOPs for all of the cooks. Um, recipes, ensuring all the recipes are all the same, the consistency, the vision of the food and beverage department as far as the aesthetics, what is it going to look like, what does the food preparation look like. We have everything from catering, fast food, employee meals, which is a like cafeteria style setting, and then uh, obviously our bread and butter, what we do, a buffet here um, at Legends. What we like to do here is try to keep our team members happy, try to be versatile with them, uh, try to be flexible, whatever needs that they may have. Um, you know, we try to accommodate. We do have childcare here on property. So if somebody needs to drop their kids off at childcare, that, that option's always there. You could come into our department with no experience at all, but we're gonna show you how to hold a knife. We're gonna show you how to cut vegetables. We're gonna show you how to cut meat. We're gonna show you how to use all the equipment is the comfort of knowing that I'm gonna have my consistent 40 hours a week. And that goes from everywhere from a dishwasher all the way up to my position. It's another benefit of working here at Legends. I like to think of it more as a career rather than a job. 
It's the holiday sale at Denver Mattress. And right now, everything is on sale. Like the Queen Size Summit, now only $332.49. Get a $300 gift when you purchase a Tempur-Pedic, plus five years no interest and free shipping. The holiday sale, on now at Denver Mattress. Season's greetings from everyone at Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back on this Thursday morning. Well, we're just a little over three weeks or a little under, excuse me, three weeks away from ringing in the new year. And if you want to end 2023 on a positive financial note, there are a few money moves to consider before this year ends. Jen Sullivan has five things you could do to help set up your financial success for 2024. Before you say farewell to 2023, you may want to reflect on your spending and plan for the future. You want to be able to have your ducks in a row. You want to have your finances organized. Here are five money moves from financial experts to consider these final days of the year if improving your finances is one of your 2024 resolutions. One, look ahead and decide which big purchases you'd like to make next year. Then create a plan to afford that new house, car, or trip. With the Fed expected to cut interest rates next year, economists say you could land lower interest rates by mid-2024. My sense is, is that interest rates have already come down and we expect them to fall further when we're talking about a 30-year mortgage or a five-year fixed rate on the purchase of an automobile. Two, tackle any lingering debt. Either pay it off now to avoid dragging it into next year or come up with a plan to pay it off next year. Three, boost your emergency savings fund. Figure out the most scaled back amount you need in order to get by month to month. Four, look back at the year and take inventory of your assets and liabilities. The cash that you have, your investment accounts, your properties, have a list of all of those assets and then have a list of the liabilities. If you owe on a car, if you know how much you owe on your mortgage, if you have any credit card debt. And five, plan to invest. Decide how much you'll invest next year and in what. You really want to try your best to still continue to put money into your account, whether it be your 401k, your Roth IRA, or any sort of retirement vehicles. I'm Jen Sullivan. Tesla is recalling nearly 2 million cars to limit the use of its autopilot feature. This comes after a review of nearly 1,000 crashes in which the feature was engaged. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says the company agreed to an over-the-air software update as well as mailing letters to owners notifying them of the change. The update would limit the auto steer feature if a driver repeatedly fails to demonstrate they are ready to resume control of the car while the feature is on. In a recent Washington Post investigation, auto assist was used when it should not have been in at least eight serious accidents, including some fatalities. With quite a bit of holiday packages going around this time of year, Richland Police has launched an initiative to stop porch pirates from spoiling the season. Operation Porch Pirate is a partnership between Richland Police and community members where officers have deployed GPS tracking devices on different containers serving as decoys left on residential doorsteps, allowing police to track anyone who steals them. Coming up, actor Jonathan Majors has opted not to testify against charges alleging he assaulted his former girlfriend as his defense rested after one day of presenting its case in his domestic violence trial. And I'll return with your first alert weather forecast. Let me get you ready for your Thursday. A lot going on this morning. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. Happy Hanukkah from Apple Valley News Now. When you feel protected under our roof, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Bundle auto, home, and life and save up to 27%. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now, through December 31st, receive rebates up to $1,400 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance from Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. A little over 10 years ago, my family and I decided to get involved with the Ark of Tri-Cities to work with the kids to have a good time. We would dance, uh, we would do crafts. But what I didn't know getting involved is uh, how much it would impact me and, and our family's lives. We're blessed to live here and to work with local nonprofits, so it's 
really important to support those in need. I'm John Inman, and I'm driving change at McCurley. Get financing as low as 0.9% on the new Mazda CX-90 during Season of Inspiration. No insurance? No problem. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, our membership plan starts at just $79 and costs only $35 a month. That's two cleanings, x-rays, and much more for just $35 a month. Learn more at WRFDC.com or PDPNW.com. Find us at one of our two locations, West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco. Stunning smiles for the whole family. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of it in a new Honda. Whether it's taking the gang to the slopes in an available all-wheel drive pilot, delivering presents in a rugged passport, or all in a few toys for yourself in a powerful Ridgeline. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. When you feel protected under our roof, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Bundle auto, home, and life and save up to 27%. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Thursday morning, everyone. Hope you're enjoying your morning so far. Hope you had a nice Wednesday. Pretty calm conditions out there throughout many of our areas, though we have seen just a hint of shower activity coming through the Yakima Valley, about to hit the northern part of Hanford. And we do expect to see just a hint of shower activity coming through our areas for our morning hours. Quite a bit of shower activity rumbling through the Puget Sound that will translate into some snow in the mountains. So be careful if you're heading over Snoqualmie uh, any time today. So as we move along in our morning, could see that just a thin band of shower activity coming through our areas, even a little bit for the Tri-Cities around noon. So just keep an eye out quick quick shower activity could see a sun break or two, but better chance for some sun breaks will be on our Saturday and on our Friday. So a little bit of clearing on the way, but just depends on how much the fog will let go of its grip. So right now improving a bit, if believe it or not in Pendleton, 10% visibility right now, they were at 0% visibility just about an hour, uh, 30 minutes ago. We have 80% visibility in Yakima. Other than that, we're looking mighty fine unless you're heading into the mountainous areas. So a uh, little bit of an improvement but still heavy fog in the Pendleton area. We're surrounded by a bit of moderate air, but our area is hanging tough, especially with the light winds uh, for the week. So just uh, hopefully it will stay right here, but uh, we are keeping an eye. It did creep into Pendleton just about two hours ago. So a uh, little bit of moderate air. So still though, hanging in that good zone. So that is definitely some good news. Light winds are gonna continue for the next couple of days. Light winds right now. And as we move into our uh, week ahead, it is gonna continue well into our next work week. So hoping to see a little bit of push from our wind uh, very soon. So as we're heading into more of the morning hours, we're right below the freezing mark for Walla Walla, right at it for Pendleton. Other than that, we're just above it. Uh, getting cooler though in our morning hours and that will continue into our weekend and our next work week. So our average uh, highs are staying right there. We're just a little below it into our weekend, but still folks, we're gonna be seeing lower 40s, upper 30s for most of our cities for the week ahead. So the winter solstice, winter hits in a week, though it feels like it's been here for some time. Christmas day, 11 days away, New Year's day, 18 days away. 
All right, let's take a look at our highs today. We're in those uh, mid to lower 40s pretty much across the board as we're a little cooler or a little warmer depending on where you're at for today. We are a little warmer in the Blue Mountain region. Seven day forecast, lower 40s, upper 30s for the week ahead for all of our cities. Quite a bit of cloud coverage on the way. Again, could see a quick shower or two this morning and then we'll dry up as we head into our evening hours. Overnight lows are remaining right at or just below the freezing mark. Tri-Cities area, quite a bit of cloud coverage. Fog could definitively return on Saturday and a little bit more upper 30s for the Tri-Cities and a little bit more upper 30s for the Walla Walla region as well. Better chance of some showers to start our work week, which could finally break up this weather, weather pattern that we are in. For today, keep an eye out for fog along the blues. Right now we're seeing it in Pendleton. Highs, lower 40s, light winds, hopefully maybe a little bit of sun break as we head into our afternoon. Now to the domestic violence trial of Marvel actor Jonathan Majors. New evidence has been released, including an audio recording and video from the night in question. Here's ABC's Rhiannon Alley. This morning, newly unsealed evidence against actor Jonathan Majors includes a conversation secretly recorded last year, during which Majors appears to instruct his girlfriend to behave more like the wives of historically important men. Coretta Scott King. You know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife, Michelle Obama, Barack Obama's wife. Also shown in court, this video from the night of the alleged assault. Majors can be seen picking his ex-girlfriend Grace Jabari up, trying to shove her back into that SUV. Jabari claims minutes earlier, Majors had assaulted her in the back seat. Jabari said Majors had uh, broken her finger and cut her behind her ear after she grabbed his phone because a message popped up from another woman. The prosecution also presented text messages from last year in which Majors refers to himself as a monster and appears to admit to hitting her. He also references his temper during that conversation recorded by Jabari. I'm just gonna say this. My temper, my my travel block, all that, all that said, right? And I'm gonna say, I'm a great man, a great man. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my, for my culture and for the world. But Major's lawyers argue it was Jabari who attacked him after seeing that text message in the SUV. And they say this video shows Jabari at a nightclub after the alleged assault using the finger that she claims Major's broke. Actor Anthony Anderson will be hosting the 75th Emmy Awards next month. Fox and the Television Academy made the announcement Wednesday. Anderson is no stranger to the show, having received seven consecutive Emmy nominations for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. He follows in the footsteps of fellow comedian Kenan Thompson, who hosted in 2022. This year's show was originally supposed to take place in September, but got postponed due to the actors' and writers' strikes. It will now air live on January 15th. When we come back, a scary moment for a dog on the highway turns into a beautiful story of human kindness. We'll tell you how these New York motorists helped rescue this lost Chihuahua next. The holidays are here and Honey Baked Ham has exactly what your holiday gathering needs. Whole turkeys fully cooked and perfectly seasoned, just heat and serve. Turkey breasts, deliciously smoked or oven roasted. Or our famous slow cook spiral cut hams, hand glazed and caramelized to perfection. Complete your feast with one of our incredible sides and delicious desserts. So many choices. Honey Baked Ham on Columbia Center Boulevard in the Planet Fitness Shopping Center. Or call 509-579-5855. Put Honey Baked Ham on your table this year. A little over 10 years ago, my family and I decided to get involved with the Ark of Tri-Cities to work with the kids to have a good time. We would dance, uh, we would do crafts. But what I didn't know getting involved is uh, how much it would impact me and, and our family's lives. We're blessed to live here and to work with local nonprofits, so it's really important to support those in need. I'm John Inman, and I'm driving change at McCurley. Find your way home in a new, used, or certified pre-owned vehicle from Mercedes-Benz of Tri-Cities. 
ProClean Auto Detail Systems is fully staffed and here for you. We are taking extra precaution by offering free pickup and drop off of your vehicle. Harsh winter conditions can be harmful to your vehicle's paint. Help protect it with a coat of winter wax. Take your interior clean to the next level with BioPledge Antimicrobial Protection. Gift certificates are good for all our services, including details starting at just $125. Give the gift of a clean car this holiday season. ProClean Auto Detail Systems, the future of auto detailing. Looking for Santa Claus? He's here with us at Queensgate Gardens. Visit us today for your best selection of Christmas trees and wreaths. For this season's holiday cheer, bring your family and find the perfect tree. Customize your own wreath and pick out locally grown poinsettia. Visit us at Queensgate Garden today. The chill of winter has always been warmed by the glow of tradition, which sometimes starts as a simple gift that is then passed from generation to generation. The holiday season gives us just one more reason to find joy in the little things. And as years fly by, we realize the true gift is actually in the time we get to share together. This season, as past gifts turn into today's treasures, here's to creating that one more cherished moment with the ones you love. Yakima Federal Savings and Loan, celebrating tradition since 1905. Save big at Buy Mart with our Christmas savings book. Arriving this week and posted at buymart.com. Save $100 on a Philips 55-inch HD class Roku Smart TV. Member priced at just $249.99. Get a Toshiba one cubic foot microwave for $99.99. Members save $60. Plus save 50% on select categories and holiday decor with our early Christmas clearance. Save more this Christmas season at Buy Mart, your Northwest employee-owned membership store. Apple Valley News Now Holiday Show, sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health. Welcome back, everyone, and let's head closer to home. Pretty calm conditions throughout many of our areas, so seeing a little bit of shower activity rumbling through uh, the Yakima Valley, just about to get out of that area. Highs today, quite a bit of cloud coverage, maybe a sunbreak or two, and possibly a little bit of fog as well. Uh, seeing highs, lower 40s pretty much across the board and uh, quite a bit of cloud coverage. So maybe a little sun break, but we expect a little bit more clearing for us tomorrow. Basin City, cool spot so far at 39 and over in the Blue Mountain region. I'll tell you, Boardman has been downright balmy for the past <laughs> couple days. Our cool spot, spot is Milton Freeman and uh, let's, uh, let's see, Milton Freewater, excuse me, everybody, and Walla Walla. And again, we have got quite a lot of fog going on in the Pendleton area this morning. Could return to the Walla Walla region. I'll have your first alert weather forecast coming up. Well, one Chihuahua had the adventure of a lifetime when he got loose on a busy highway in New York, and Jason, he did not want to be rescued. Okay, fair <laughs> As, enough. If you, if you know any Chihuahuas, common thing they <laughs> they do not like to be told what to do okay. but some good motor uh, some good hearted motorists <laughs> made sure that he made it to safety CNN's Jeannie Moose has the story that's no high occupancy vehicle racing alongside the HOV lane that's a chihuahua this chihuahua named Bean Bean had drivers jumping on the Staten Island Expressway. That dog never tired. He was so fast, it was ridiculous. Caitlin McGinley was one of about 20 motorists who did everything from stopping and getting out to try to catch Bean to forming a blockade to protect him. But even good Samaritans had bad moments. No, 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 no. The most heart-stopping moment for me was when the dog went underneath my car. I thought I killed it. But Bean reappeared on the other side of her car, crossing four lanes of traffic. Katie stopped and tried to grab him. Come here! But he whipped past. Another thing that I was thinking in my head was, what is insurance going to say? If my car gets hit, if all these cars get hit, we tell them that a chihuahua was on the highway. Finally, Ella watched his husband, dropped her off, and she chased the Chihuahua for about half a mile. Did that not seem a little bit dangerous? It was dangerous at the beginning. But a blockade formed to protect Ella's lane. They managed to corral Bean under Caitlin's vehicle. He wasn't exactly grateful. Little nippy, yeah, he almost bit me, but that's okay. They used a jacket to scoop him up and put him in a bag. In no time, Bean was recognized in a lost dog Facebook post and reunited with his owner an hour after the chase. Now, the famous Bean has his own Instagram. It 